What is going on everybody? DroidLife.com here once again. Uh, what we're going to show you today is just kind of a walkthrough of the Droid Mod 1.0, going through the rooting process, installing the custom ROM they have, live wallpapers, and then going back to an unrooted droid. Okay, so this is going to take a little while, so if you're not up for watching a long video, you can shut us off now if you want to, but if you want to go through this whole process with us, we're going to go ahead and show you every step of the way, just to show you that, you know, it's an easy process, but it's still risky, and it's still something you really need to do your research on before you go ahead and do it. So, anyway, here we go. Um, at our blog, we'll include the link for the... DM updater which is this little guy right here which is the application that the droid mod team put together that walks you through this whole process step by step so got a link there download it install it get it up and running make sure it's installed in your app drawer okay I also show you that I do not I am not currently rooted you don't see a little ninja app in there that says super user so you can see we're running stock right now and then we'll just go ahead and jump right in here. So if we go ahead and open up DM Updater, it says your phone is not rooted. This is required, okay? It'll say it'll probably void your warranty if you choose to continue. We accept no responsibility, all that good stuff, okay? Same thing with me. I'm not accepting any responsibility if something bad happens to your phone. I'm just trying to show you how to do this, okay? So I'm going to say root my phone. And it says, reboot into recovery mode by holding physical keyboard X while powering on. When Moto logo comes on, hit the volume up key and the camera at the same time. Okay, so we'll show you how to do that. So all you got to do now is hit your home key, go home, go ahead and turn your phone off. And we're going to boot into recovery. So we're powering off. Okay, here we go. Open up your keyboard. Hold down the X key, okay? So we're holding down X and hold the power button until you get that flash. And we got the flash, okay? So that's coming on now. Flash, I just mean the screen flash is on, sorry. I'm still holding X, I've let go of power, okay? So you can just hold on to X until you get this screen, which looks like an exclamation mark, okay? At this point, you're gonna go volume, let's see if I can get that, volume up and camera, okay? Volume up and camera. And that's what you should get to this screen right here okay and it says first option says reboot system I know you can't see that because it's highlighted right now there you go reboot system and to navigate through this you just use your d-pad okay so we're gonna go down to the second option which says apply SD card update dot zip go down there tap on your gold button in the middle of your d-pad and it starts loading Okay, so this really shouldn't take that long, and you can see I'm already done. It says, install from SD card complete, and that top option says reboot system now. Go ahead and punch the gold button on reboot system now, and your system should boot. And you can go ahead and close your keyboard now. And there we go, we're booting. Now that was rooting our phone. So this should give us root access, super user access. We should now have that little ninja in our app drawer. So once this loads up, we'll see if we got it. So like I said, the process was not that hard. Um, basically, you just got to remember with the keyboard open, holding down X and then your power button until the Motorola logo appears. You can let go of power, hold X. Then when you get exclamation mark, volume up and camera button, and it lets you into recovery mode. Okay, so here we go. We're loading up, got no lockups. Um, a lot of people worried about stuff bricking their phone. I can tell you right now, if you can at least load up that Motorola logo, you have not bricked your phone. Bricking your phone means that it's fried and you can't even turn the thing on. So if you get that Motorola logo to at least pop up during any of these processes, pretty sure we can get you back running again, okay? All right, so here we go. We are loaded back up. Go ahead and unlock. And you can see we have only rooted right now we have not installed a rom so we still only have our three screens everything looks pretty much like it did you know before we rooted the phone so if we pull up our app drawer and we scroll down here and there we go there's our ninja that says super user permissions okay we can open that up and you can see i have some old stuff in there but if this is the first time you've rooted this will be completely blank okay so anyway, that's super user permissions. That shows that we've been rooted. 